I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Zamarian. This game was given to me as a review copy, and it's basically a modern-day remake of the classic arcade game Tempest, which I personally remember from Windows 95. Anyway, pretty easy to get into. It is essentially just a radial shooter. And uh, this first little bit here is more of a tutorial pre-level, where you kind of have the opportunity to build up some coins and uh, buy a few upgrades before the game actually starts. I missed out on a ton of them just then. So here's my first upgrade. And uh, one thing that kind of annoys me about the game... First of all, the sound effects are incredibly monotonous, but uh, there is actually music in the game. I'm not recording that, however, because it is copywritten. And uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, but um, that's how it is. So, we've got a few upgrades and I can buy a new medium ship. Now we see here this little green circle here that indicates the level of your shields. So as you take hits your shields diminish of course and then that means that uh, your health goes down and you die. So the bigger ships offer you more shield rings but they also offer different types of weapons. If we open the weapon menu here you see I have arcane missiles, super lightning, um, I think I'm actually going to buy the Super Lightning. EMPs are incredibly strong and will kill everything on the map, sometimes including bosses. In fact, I might just buy one of those now. A Guardian. You know what, let's buy a Guardian too. Because that'll sort of circle around me and kill things that come close. It's probably a pretty good starting loadout, but uh, I would very much like to get the Heavy Fighter as soon as possible. Now the game uh, has continuous fire. I am not actually making it fire by holding down any key. I imagine that is because this game is also... I just took a hit there to my shields. Uh, this game is for controller as well as mouse and keyboard. Boy. Got my lightning shot there. That's unfortunate. There is the floating head of Zamarian. I uh, have not yet discovered how to actually damage that thing. There are bosses, however, at the end of every level. And uh, a little trick here, you can sort of teleport to one side of the screen or the other by getting really close to the central circle. And uh, this lightning beam seems to be doing quite alright for me. Just need to make sure I'm avoiding a lot of the small fighters. Don't seem to be clearing them out very well, however. I'm not sure how many are spawned in for every level. And how many you have to... I, I would imagine you'd have to destroy every wave before moving on. Something I do not appear to be doing very well. Okay. Just missed out on an upgrade there, and my first level of shields has gone down to a dangerous level. Uh, hitting these pink squares replenishes those shields by one level. And I need to get rid of this guy. Got a little bit too close. So here's the first boss. Not too bad. Uh, let's actually upgrade my fighter, which automatically upgrades my shield to full. But it puts your weapons back down. Uh, and I just did myself a disservice here because the Photon Blitz is actually the pretty good weapon, I think, for uh, for this. Dragon Breath also seems to be pretty well. Uh, Medusa is kind of like the Guardian in that it circles around you. We can only afford the Hail Blaze, though, so... Or, I can use my EMP. I'd rather use that for the next boss, if I actually survive. Now, the game seems to have a little bit of a proximity targeting, so you have to be in a certain position for that little crosshairs to show up. And I'm doing pretty poorly right now because of these homing shots that are following me around. There we go. Okay. Chance to get up to speed here, and I'm about to have another upgrade for free? No? This ship apparently can't have it. Okay. Maybe it's because I switched in the middle of a boss fight. Comes predetermined with what it's going to drop. That could be a thing. So there's a new enemy flying around back there, that X-Wing. Kind of dangerous to let that one get close. The game does have music. I think I just mentioned that. Um, it's pretty good, actually. It's kind of like the... wow. Kind of a, a metal rock and roll theme, but yeah, it's really unfortunate that uh, whoever they 
they licensed that song from, or the, the music from, Soundtrack, uh, has decided to sell themselves out to content farms, so you can't put it on YouTube. And I just switched over to Hailblaze, which I think I was already using. Okay. Ah, just took a hit there. So, let's see if I can actually get up. There we go. Let's try the Photon Blitz now. This will be much more effective. Okay. I believe this is the first instance of the head coming in. We are not expected to defeat it at once. Now, judging by the red flashing, I assume that you're supposed to hit his head. You can see, however, his health bar is not going down. I don't know... Yeah. I wasn't getting any targeting reticule up there, so I don't know... Aw, oh, damn. I really didn't want to actually do that. Let's go back to the Photon Blitz and waste some more money. What I should really be doing is buying up more of those EMPs. Because I have a feeling that those are going to be the more valuable weapons. One shot, of course, but uh, it helps out in a pinch. I can only imagine that as more things come on screen... That's kind of a, a concern of mine. Uh, the original Tempest, if you never played it, was really... Ah, I missed that very vital shield replen. wasn't paying attention. Um, was done with vector graphics, and so it was colored lines, essentially, which actually made it fairly easy to see what was going on. Oh boy. And I missed that upgrade because I had to dodge this guy, but I got the super fireball. Buy another ship. Okay, I guess we better do that then. We'll have to downgrade just to get my shields back. Unfortunately, I lost out on my really awesome thing. Um, Helldust? What's this do? Okay, so it fires a thing. A secondary shot. Uh, and now here is the Bartizan Cruiser. This is the second boss. Maybe I can get my shield here? Thank you. And, uh, okay, so we'll just go ahead and try the EMP. And, uh, that's it. Boss killer, right there. Now, maybe I can use all of this to buy another ship? We're back to normal. And I uh, can't buy anything, so I guess we'll just do a hail blaze. And hope for the best here. Alright. Need to get into a position. There. Just got an upgrade that I apparently can't use with this ship. Alright. So a new enemy type. Not that one, but uh, new new ships are coming in. Ah, oh, damn. Can't really afford to do that too many times here. Fortunately, there was a shield right there. Okay, what just shot me from the side there? Ah, the new ship I was talking about. That's what. Okay, we need a better... We need a better weapon here. Well, let's even just get a Guardian. That'll help. Probably a waste of... Oh, damn. <laughs> There's two on the screen now. Um, probably would be better to save a bit of money to try and get some... Oh, shit. Try and get some some upgrades that actually do something for me. Oh, no, not him again. See, the thing is that... Uh, even though he's on the screen, so is everything else in the background. So, I'm, I'm pretty much boned here. I'm not making enough coinage to buy upgrades. I still don't know where the, the targeting is for this guy. Can we hit that damn thing? That stupid... Well, okay. I think this is pretty much the end here. Too much going on on screen. And I'm not able to uh, to dodge it all. The targeting, I I just I am not quite sure of. And there goes the ship. Okay. Oh, which downgraded me to a light fighter. Well, so we're not out of the game yet.
You know what, I think we're just gonna end this one, but I kinda wanna see... No, I don't want the fighter. Let's get a weapon. Midget missiles, let's try those. Just slightly better than the basic weapon. I just wanna see if that's sort of... This is like a Mario thing, I think it is. Yeah, okay, so once you've lost your, your big upgrades, and you downgrade to the smallest ship, that's it. Okay, 45. Is that actually 45? Okay, well, cool. So anyway, uh, that's Zamarian. I mean, it, it does bring back sort of the classic arcade feel, but I think maybe just because of the models and uh, the color, there just feels like there's a little bit too much going on. I feel more that I am fighting just to spam uh, shots rather than actually being able to dodge bullets and, and target the ships because they all look so similar and they just keep come coming at you and, and flying in the the same directions that it's very difficult uh, to to get past all that but you know it's uh, it's a different type of bullet hell I guess rather than a side scroller uh, the camera is a little bit disorienting in that what you're shooting suddenly shifts off screen I mean that's uh, that's a weird mechanic for me, but uh, yeah, it's all right. So I'm gonna end this one here, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play.